Have you ever pondered the mystery of how a mosquito, that tiny buzzing annoyance, manages to extract your blood? It's a marvel of biological engineering, a feat that involves not one but six needles. Yes, you heard that right, six needles. Intrigued? Let's delve into this fascinating process. First, a mosquito lands on your skin, its preferred surface for a quick meal. It's not just landing randomly though, it's carefully selected a spot rich in capillaries, the tiny blood vessels close to the surface of your skin. Now the mosquito gets to work. It begins by deploying its proboscis, a complex structure that is far more than a simple straw. Hidden within this proboscis are six slender, needle-like parts. Two of these are called maxillae. Think of them as the mosquito's surgical knives, sharp and efficient. They slice into your skin, carving a path towards those juicy capillaries. Next up are two mandibles. They hold the tissues apart, ensuring the mosquito maintains access to your bloodstream. Imagine them as the mosquito's retractors, keeping the incision open for business. Then there's the hyperpharynx, a single tube that does double duty. It pumps out saliva, which contains an anticoagulant. This prevents your blood from clotting around the mosquito's proboscis, keeping the flow smooth and uninterrupted. But this saliva is also what causes that annoying itch after a mosquito bite. Finally, the star of the show, the labrum. This is the mosquito's straw, the conduit through which it draws up your blood. It slips into the incision, finds a capillary, and gets to work. Once the mosquito has finished its meal, it withdraws all six needles and flies off, leaving you none the wiser, save for the itch that will soon develop. So there you have it. The next time a mosquito buzzes around you, remember the intricate process it's about to embark on. Six needles, a carefully chosen spot, and a quick, efficient operation. It's a fascinating, if slightly unsettling, glimpse into the world of nature's tiny vampires.